Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Thursday the 14th of April 2022. I need to look at the uh, computer to find out what the date is, what the day of the week is because I have no idea. It's very weird, you know when you're in the middle of these long holidays, um, you know this whole like in a weekend and then two days of uh, possible work and then uh, three days of no work and another two days of probably no work. Um, it's really difficult to know what day of the week it is, but apparently it's a Thursday, and that means a hard-level uh, Guardian Sudoku puzzle, uh, which I'll get on with in just a second. Um, just to give you an idea of how how hot it really is here in Thailand, this is uh, just, it's just uh, quite often, it's not only the heat, it's also the humidity, right? It's 9 a.m. here, and um, I just took a shower, and uh, put a t-shirt on, some shorts, and went to uh, walk to the kitchen and uh, took uh, bread out of my bread machine. It's the first time I've eaten bread for a month, um, so I was looking forward to that. Made a cup of tea and walked into another room. And <laughs> at that point, I was soaked. I mean, I just dried myself with a towel. You know, I was dry, right? I'm getting out of the shower. <laughs> a cold shower at that. I took a cold shower. And so this, this, what, less than five minutes of taking bread out of a machine, cutting myself a slice and buttering it and making a cup of tea. Five minutes. I w my shirt was drenched as though I'd been standing in the shower wearing <laughs> with my T-shirt. The humidity is... 85% I checked on my telephone current temperature 29 degrees yesterday was up to 40 right but the humidity is for is 85% and that's why it makes you so sweaty it's why sometimes it can be really uncomfortable heat uh, here in Thailand but um, I shouldn't complain of course because I did move here partly because I hate the cold weather so I can't really be complaining too much about it um, all right anyway that's a kind of luxurious problem to have when people ha are having terrible problems around the world. And uh, some of them are related to climate change anyway. Right, let's get on with our Sudoku game. I'm not going to explain the rules because I think if you're up to the hard level one, you should have played a couple of games this week already and therefore should understand what we need to do. So when we see this six blocking across this row and this six blocking up this column, we immediately understand that six cannot reappear in this column. Six can uh, row, sorry. And six cannot appear in this column because we have one already. And so the six has to fit in the only available square, which is that one there. Okay. And that's how we play the game. When we say one blocking across this row and across this row and up here, we can be sure that one fits in that empty square there because it's the only one available. Let's do the same thing with this one blocking down this column, this one blocking down this column, this one blocking across here, just this one empty cell here. Uh, we place our one there, one across this row, one across this row, and one down here, and we place the one there. Now we are just one block, just this central block here, where we haven't yet uh, put in a digit one, so we know that we can find it, because if we have the other eight, we always can get the ninth, and there we go. So that will finish off the ones, so now digit one we can just uh, not worry about. I'm going for a fancy lunch today. I'm trying to decide if I should walk the eight minutes to the station. It's about an eight minute walk to the subway station. Uh, when I get off at the other end, uh, it's okay because the station can just walk directly into the shopping center, like a food, massive food hall kind of place. And so I won't have to visit the sunshine, But I'm, or I should drive and park my car. <laughs> the, it's going to take, I don't know, a couple of minutes in the car, but just, just to avoid the sunshine, it's just that hot. I'm, I'm seriously debating whether or not I should walk it or take the car. That's really terrible. Not, I would normally just walk. Okay, I've spotted something. Uh, I've seen this 7 and this 3 blocking up this column here. So I happen to know that now, we know, we all know together, that this square and this square cannot be seven or three because we have them here, right? So we know that seven or three are in these two squares here. And so that is gonna help us find these two squares because we know that they are the remainder of 
the numbers that we need to finish this block. So in other words, they're going to be five and nine. So now knowing one of these digits is that one of these has to be nine, we can say nine blocking down here, nine blocking down here, and nine blocking across there. So we know that that square there has to be a nine, and now we can say nine blocking across this row, and this row we can place a nine just there. Now if you're, uh, okay, what was the other one? Five, wasn't it? Five, okay, I can't quite get that yet. Right, okay, moving along bit by bit. That's how we uh, finish these games off. Same kind of thing here, seven blocking across and seven blocks down and seven across here. So we know that seven is in one of these two squares. Let's extend that down, seven blocking down here. That's a seven there. Seven now blocking across here, so seven is in one of these three squares, which block back here. So we know that seven goes there. Seven up here, seven up here. That's a seven there. And now seven across and across uh, like this. And did I not find, oh, I thought I, oh, my apologies. Sorry, I thought I'd found uh, uh, another one down here. Not quite. Okay. All right, let's uh, keep moving around. If you get stuck, uh, you know, not finding anything new in the location you're looking, make sure to move to other locations, look in other places. It's advice I have to keep giving myself because I often forget. All right, this uh, the three the this column here is lacking an eight. This eight blocks this square. This eight blocks this square. So we know for sure eight has to be there. Um, the other missing numbers are. Um, what are they? F four and nine, I think. Okay, so we've got a nine blocking here. So that's a nine, and then a four will finish it off. Okay, we have six blocking down here, six blocking up here, six across there, that's a six. Six across here, across here, and down here, that's a six. Two blocking down here, and two across here. Let's keep that going. So we can see that two must appear in either this square or this square. So whichever one it appears in blocks across here, so that will be a 2 in that square there. Uh, this 3 blocking up here puts a 3 into that square there. 3 blocking down here, 3 up here, 3 across here. That's a three. Uh, we just need a five for that row now. Uh, missing numbers in these two squares are 2 and 3. Now we have an intersecting 2, meaning this can't be 2. 2 has to go there. 3 will finish that row. Now 3 blocking up here, 3 across here, 3 goes in this square here.
missing numbers in these three squares are 5, 7, and 9. That's what we don't yet have for this block. Now the 7 and the 9 both attack this square here. So if this is not 7 or not 9, it has to be 5. Uh, okay, now five blocks across here and four blocks across here as well. So these two squares are banned from being five and four. That means five and four, excuse me, five and four are in these two squares. Now we can't quite tell which is which yet, but that's okay because we know that what comes here has to be two and eight. Now we have an eight block in this square, so we know that the eight is in that square and the two is in that square. Now two blocking down here, down here, two goes here. And then missing number down here is a five. By the way, if you're wondering why this doesn't seem to be very hard, well, the Guardian, uh, to be honest with you, the Guardian puzzle often isn't very hard. Nine blocks here, and that's a nine. And then five will finish that off. Five blocking down here, five goes here. And uh, four is our last number there. Okay, uh, missing numbers at the ends here are 4 and 6. We have an intervening 6, meaning this can't be 6. It will have to be 4, and the 6 will be down at this end. 4 blocking across here, across here, up here. That's a 4. Uh, missing numbers in these two squares are 6 and 7. Well, we have a 7 here, meaning this can't be 7, so we know that the 7 is there, and the 6 will be there. One number to finish this block, it's a 5. 5 blocking across there and up there puts a 5 there. One number to get this block finished, it's an 8. We have 9 blocking this square and 9 blocking this square, so 9 is here. 2 blocks this, so 2 is here, 3 is here. Mouse battery is low, I hope it's long enough. They're, they're not low, uh, so low that I can't finish the game because it's almost done now. 3s are in this square here, 3 down here, down here and across here, so that's a 3. 6 blocking, oh no, sorry, I've got 6 already. I I apologize. Eight, I should say, blocking across there. Puts an eight there and a seven there. Seven blocking down here, seven across there. That's a seven. One number to finish this column. The missing number is two. Um, one number to, oh, that should have, uh, yeah, one number to finish this column now. <laughs> Confusing my language skills. Um, is, what are we missing here? See it, eight is it? Okay. Uh, and then eight blocks across here, putting an eight in that square. The last number here is a four. Uh, this will be a four. The last number here is a five. To finish this row, we still need a seven, and to finish the whole game, we just need a nine there. So, really, a very easy puzzle from the Guardian, stated as hard, but not at all. Um, okay. I hope to be back um, later with more Sudoku fun.